Hey, oh, Danny boys here. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to get into the advanced setting on the um, Xterra Pro for um, the tone break. I think it only has one tone break from ferrous to non ferrous. And uh, when you set the tone break, it's supposed to give you anything that you set the tone break to um, all ferrous tones. And the regular targets will come through. But before you do the um, setting on the tone breaks, you want to set your how many tones you want in on the mode that you're in. This is a local setting. So if you set it in Park 1, then you can switch over to Park 2 if, if you really want to check more, more information or whatever. I mean, yes, this detector has some bells and whistles to it, but you all know from my last video. So what you want to do is you want the cogs wheel. You want to, there's your noise cancel, there's your ground balance. That's your um, volume tone for how loud you want the targets to sound through the speaker. That's your threshold, which is a consistent hum when you set it to a certain level. And that consistent hum um, has stuff to do with um, the rejected targets, I guess. You won't hear it if there's a target that was rejected. It would go silent on you. Um, so... For the sake of argument, we'll just keep it in five tone. So you go to the accept and reject button, which is next to that one and before the, um, yeah, your swing speed. So when you're in this mode here, you hold the cogs wheel down for two seconds. And there's your tiers. So we got each tier set in. So if you want your ferrous tone to come in, let's say... All the way up to, yeah, I guess you can only go up to 16. Um, but, so that's where you set your tone break to. Now, beach mode already has a set to ferris up to zero. And a couple of the modes, I think, does too. So, then you just hit your plus and minus up to that bar there. So, now let's see if we go to, like, let's do two-tone and see if that changes anything. Because, I mean, really, you got ferrous and then you got your non-ferrous tones. So. Now, if you're in two-tone, you can set your tone break even further. So, when you see... The, the T1 or whatever that's supposed to be. Um, that would be your Ferris. There is no other advanced settings to it. There is no advanced settings to your swing speed. But, um... Yeah, so you're going to be running it in all metal. And... Let's see... So bottle caps, I mean, you got more of an iron grunt. Um, that should be a wheat penny. But yeah, so that's how you navigate it. So you just, again, I'll do a quick, there's your noise cancel. Push the button. The, um. Plus, minus, whatever, or the reject button. And um, it will noise cancel for you. Your ground balance. To do ground balance, you pump the machine. But you can manually adjust it, too. Um, at default setting, it's all zero. Your volume tone for how loud you want the detector. So, that would be a threshold. So, volume 2 is the best. Now, let's see what happens if we do it in all tone. So, in all tone. Whoops. Let's go to the advanced settings. Sorry. Ah, like I said, I don't use this function. So, once you're in the accept and reject on the, on the, on the thing, you hold down the the cogs button, the gear button, and then you plus or minus the level that you want to sound like a ferrous target. Oh, boy. 
So now anything that comes in 72 or whatever or below will sound irony. Hopefully that helps anybody. All right. So again, accept, reject, hold down gear button, and that'll bring you up into this T1. And then to get out of it, you just either back it to there or whatever. All right. Hopefully that helps anybody out. Um, but yeah, it just takes your, your non-ferrous items and it makes it into a ferrous tone or your unwanted targets, but you still want to hear them as a ferrous tone. That's all that that does, I guess. Um, it may be helpful in the fields. It may not be. I don't know because I don't use it. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.